Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to read a row from a VTS server using your uh, load on script in uh, web HTML, HTTP protocol. Okay, so first is uh, uh, we have a script which will do login in our uh, uh, JPEG store application. So here we have a user1 and pass as a username and a password of two parameters that we need to pass in our uh, request. So we will do this data, we'll pull that data from VTF and we'll pass it in uh, required request. Okay, so first thing we need to have is we need to have this data. So we have this data ready and we have a uh, VTS port right act, uh, VTS port access and VTS port ready to uh, import your data. So we don't have any data, even if we have any data, just if you want to delete it, just click on delete. Delete the data, it's deleted. Now, just I'm importing the data now. So, choose, click on choose. This is the CSV file what I'm using. So, I uh, selected that and start import. Now, yeah, I got on a file records in my into the uh, VTS server. So, now I have five records. If you see that, we have five records here. Uh, and the first column will consider as a header. So, if you miss to write your header, uh, the first column will be default taken as a column name, column name. Okay, so don't forget to miss your give your uh, uh, column name in the first row of your CSV file or your uh, uh, your test data file. So now we have uh, our the test data ready in uh, VTS server and we have a script already designed in load runner just to log in and just we need to uh, read the data from the VTS server. So first we need to add, uh, we need to add the uh, uh, VTS server uh, uh, configuration. So that is a VTS server configuration PVCA2 and uh, this is the object, I'm, uh, this is the variable I'm giving to PVCA and this should be declared in global file, global.h uh, where I'm showing in extra files. So of, under the global variable we need to declare that, then in init I'm connecting to my uh, VTS server. So this is a VTS server host. So as it is in the currently in VTS uh, is in my local, I'm using local host. So if we have uh, the specific IP or the server name, then we can use the server name here instead of local host. And this is a port. So if you see that yeah, I am accessing the VTS server on 4000, but AP access port is double a so for every port, it will mention the access port details here. So you need to use the port which is mentioned in access port uh, port number. So yeah, this is the double a double a. So I want to keep the connection alive even after my reading the data. Okay, so this is the object. This is the step to get connection with the VTS server. Uh, next, before reading your data, you need to establish a connection, and this is your uh, this is your uh, connection step. Next, in the uh, action, I am reading the row, which is lrvtc retrieve row. Okay, lrvtc underscore retrieve underscore score row. So, which will read the one row from VTS server. So, now we have a user one. If you, you if you run the script, it will read the first row, which is user one and pass one. And it will save in variable name, username and the password. Okay. So username and the password. So first uh, uh, username and password. So first time you will uh, replay it without uh, without if you just for confirmation we will replay it one. So first this is here it was uh, uh, return a row and it will print the whether it's a uh, value of the RC. So RC is uh, when it when it is success. When your VTS connection is established and it was able to read the data successfully, then the value will be zero here. So that's the reason why I made uh, successful. If it is zero, then uh, successfully. Else, I will put uh, LR end uh, next iteration or exit the uh, third group, exit the user, virtual user. Okay. So I have not made anything because I have the data and if I'm using it for demo. Uh, just I'm not mentioning any uh, uh, termination policies if there's no data in VTS. Okay, uh, just replay it. I will replay it once. So now we have a user one and a password, password as a pass. So just I'm replaying it. Uh, 
we will get the variable name what we need to use in our script so if you see that uh, to clear uh, to clarif uh, clarification uh, it was saving the password and username so those are those are the column names what we used in our csv file so this is the variable column name and this is the column name for password this is the column name for the user so this two columns uh, the, the, these values are saved in these two uh, variables okay so now see username and password so i'm taking this username here now this was not passed into our uh, script yet so still it is a hard coded now i'm passing it so just uh, general notation of general usage of variable so we are using in general there is no difference between uh, after reading a variable from vts there is no need to change the format of your uh, using a variable so this is like a general regular variable what we use in that. Okay, now we have used to uh, parameter it. Now, if you go to the VTS, it was it was refreshed, so the data is gone. So if you click on refresh, so we go to uh, the user two now. So now we replace the data and we'll replay it once again. We'll replay it once again. So we'll see uh, what data has passed in the request. Now, if you see here, the data has uh, the data has uh, passed the user two and the pass here okay it was saved the value so if you click on this variable it's action three line number three where we we are fetching our record here okay and then uh then we are passing uh substitution which is substitution it was substituting at the form submit even if you go to the snapshot uh you would have you could see the value what we are sending here so if you see the user two and the pass that we sent in our request okay so yeah uh, after every iteration, so if you want to avoid the connection time dots and every, uh, any other collision from your uh, VTS server, then we can we can use if it's successful or uh, dis uh, disconnect. We can use LR uh, disconnect. LR VTC disconnect. So which will avoid your uh, multiple connections open for your video server so once you pull the data uh, we can close the connection so here the the uh, reading a row is a placing the reading a row code is also important so if you are using same uh, user for all the iterations or all the users if you don't have multiple users in your uh, test data and if you want to use the same users in your uh, in your uh, uh, execution uh, you can use this same code in any table so as it uh, in it will run only once for a user so we can keep that in uh, we use that in it if you want to run it uh, if you want to fit the data only once so if you keep it in action so on the each iteration it will it will fetch the data from data server and it will use in your texture in your script so make sure in which position you want in which uh, scenario you are using you are using it only for once or you are using on each iteration if you want to pull it so based on that you can uh, copy the code here uh, and you can uh, copy the code and you can update it as per your requirement uh, thanks for thanks for listening